Hello, this is Zubuka here. You're watching the first of many build videos where I will be creating Andy's Yoda's most ambitious tutorial ever, and that's what he titles it. Uh, and it's of a fort. I mean, he calls it a fort. I'm calling it a fortress because it looks huge and takes ages to build, especially in survival, which is what I do: build in survival. Please do check the description uh, of this video for his the link to his tutorial, and do check out his channel. Uh, I am one of his many subscribers. I love his work. So anyhow, so have you seen? Uh, we just started out in um, the cozy realm, and as the first day, what I do is I look for the tallest point in the horizon. We we'll get to one mountain, get to the top of it, and realize this ain't the tallest mountain. The other one is. And then now within the first week, we've already done quite a bit. Uh, so we didn't record much of it, but we basically get the um, the flat bit at the foundation. Uh, it looks a bit uh, funny because it looks like uh, at the top of this pointy mountain, there's just a big flat slab dropped on top of it. So one of the things you can see us doing here is jumping off. Uh, this is something that you know what I love doing, and um, yeah, Haley joined me. Uh, some of us are better. Yeah, Haley, Haley, oh, this is this is this going to make it. Easier. Oh yes, you made it. Now I'm going to hand back to myself inside this video, to who's going to explain what the rest of this video is going to be about. This video is going to be a speed run of what I grew up to, building, adding to this building. Um, had a lot of misadventures. I fell once and lost a lot of loot, but then Neo Banana came to the rescue. He actually flew in like a superhero and helped me. Uh, this section took a while. It's making this, that I fell off a lot. And um, yeah, some scaffolding, uh, done that bit there, and also closed up this wall. So, still got a lot to do, need sandstone to make the rest of it. But anyway, you know, that's uh, enough for me, hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you me for that, and I do apologise really to that I didn't record um, the initial build of this, you know, obviously you can see there's a lot of work already done, but I'll be sure there's a lot more work still to be done. And my gosh, isn't it such a satisfying sound, those are wooden oak planks to be placed. I think they're wooden, uh, maybe they're spruce, I'm not sure. I forgot by now. So anyway, uh, the music that you've been hearing at the start of this video is Flying High by Declan DP, which we got from the audio library release. Uh, royalty free music for creators such as ourselves. Though you can see some scaffolding here and there in this video, I do uh, I do not um, recommend using scaffolding. I, I'm not a fan of it. I've had too many uh, accidents with it. You know, you accidentally hit uh, one of them and it all comes down. I find it a bit too fragile. I prefer using ladders and just normal blocks like uh, dirt. Uh, dirt is easy to come by and you just, you know, can break that down easily. I suppose scaffold is good, but good if you want to go just straight up vertically and come back straight down. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm not a great fan of scaffolding. Starting to feel a little bit like a DJ now here uh, in this video. So um, this next track is called Crystal Eyes by Erixis, which we also got from the audio level release, which is really free. Enjoy. Movement so graceful, wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystal lights fascinate. If you wanna stay alive, if you don't wanna be her prey, don't stand in her way. Run, run, run away. Crystal light, crystal lights, crystal lights watching her prey. Crystal light, crystal lights, crystal lights fascinate. So here, obviously, this uh, build requires a lot of resources. I'd have to mine a lot. So here I am mining in our mines, and um, I get to see these two blooming um, creepers whilst pulling up here. Here I'm growing and chopping wood. Um, you know, I have to go and find seeds for spruce, for birch, for oak and then grow because right near us it was just dark oak, not even oak so I had to grow and chop to you know, have enough for all the wood that I needed for this build
Andy loves andesite, diorite and polished andesite and he got me in love with uh, polished andesite and a polished diorite as well but so I've had to uh, back here in the mines uh, to dig for diorite and andesite and gratefully there was a lot of it underneath the ma in the mountain uh, and you can make andesite, I think you mix um, diorite and cobblestone uh, in a crafting table and that makes that and then you just uh, you don't have to do any smelting you get enough uh, andesite and blocks to make a polished andesite which is a lot of the columns are made of here in this uh, fortress uh, using polished andesite now what you're seeing here is the, the underneath the fortress in the mountain where you've got the chests and farms and underneath that got the mines all of that was uh, mainly built by Heishi uh, poet D and um, Poetry123 and uh, Dr. Urano. You probably got a quick glimpse of that anti mob barrier on the sign, which is basically just trapdoors just above the steps because we were getting a lot of mobs coming up uh, uh, because of um, from the side of the mountain and also coming up from the stairs. Uh, yeah, so that's what that is. Oh, a well, nice to drop a nine of that. I did not sleep in the bed, so I just, or maybe the bed was destroyed. I've come back to spawn and I had to go all the way back up from there. Um, so this is where the dying starts uh, in this video. All those uh, sort of like bridges and the walkways, uh, you know, the walls that built around uh, around the bottom of the mountain, around the mountain, that's all the work of mainly Dr. Urano, Poet D123 and from Heishi Heidi. As you can see, uh, this is the early stages where well, you get scared of the night and um, so, so I need some sleep. But on this realm, we um, uh, have it set so everyone has to sleep, you know, that's all. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Looking back, it looks quite um, silly and um, pathetic that with such efforts to pick up just those simple blocks I really could have just left it and just, you know, just maybe I just couldn't be asked to leave it and um, go mine or pick up resources elsewhere <laughs> Yo Banana, where are you man? Uh, we haven't seen him for a while uh, Rome's actually been quite quiet uh, but um, hopefully <laughs> After, well, as lockdown is lowering, more people will be back on. It's funny that uh, during lockdown, uh, people were less playing uh, on the realms. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Neil Banana just saw Sweet just came out. I mean, he's far away, he came all the way back to just help me out. Uh, it was very sweet. And that's how our realm basically is. Or how it was when everyone was on it, we were just helping each other like this. Yeah, so I just cut out that bit where I just went all the way to uh, with Neil Banana to visit his um, part of the realm where he showed me around his massive base, uh, which he called it an uh, initial base. Uh, it's quite big, uh, it's got loads of resources, and he let me just uh, pick and take what I needed, whatever I lost, and more to bring back and carry on with my build. And so, all you've got here just seeing me go, you can see him shoot off flying in the background. This next track is. Uh, called Light by Sapphire Rios Music. I'm trying to jump for that rather than building something up to make that.
Oh, what happened there? That's a very unusual cut. I don't know what happened there. Did I die or I don't know? Okay, well, it's night time. I'm coming back. <laughs> Maybe I was getting some resources or God knows what. Yeah, wiggle tums. I was just being nosy. I didn't take anything from your chests over there. And if I did, I mean, God, look, I'm pulling up on this video so you can see for yourself. Where else does this bloody spider come from, man? I thought it was all lit up in here. I'm Frog, someone else I haven't seen all four island in this film. I'm Frog man, where the hell are you? Come back on. Fiery zombie, ha! Oh. Next track is Lioness by Dayfox. Oh bloody hell, creeper, why the hell is a creeper here? Oh bloody hell, well, he's here, that's a bloody hell. So you can imagine on the um, realm of Montrose when it's on hard, uh, this is on I think it was easy back then, it's probably uh, normal now. But uh, bloody hell, the bloody creepers. Did you see that skillful jumping there? Oh, that skillful jumping. You know from that old wooden pillar from to the one to the another. Jump, yeah. As we come to the 
close of this video, we're going to go back to a Eric Sis's All of Us, and I think the lyrics to this is uh, quite poignant, especially during this time of uh, COVID-19 lockdown and um, the George Floyd uh, um, uh, protests around the world. We all need to, you know, have a bit more love for one another, mutual love. As we come to the end of this video, I just want to give a big shout out to Andy's Yoda. You know, he's just a brilliant uh, maker and I love his videos. Thank you for your videos and um, showing us how to build excellent style and imagination. And thank you to all the uh, music makers, uh, they're so talented and they just give away for free uh, for us creators to use on our videos. Thank you both for uh, all. This is our wall where we um, will share our useful coordinates and also give each other jobs to do and request for help. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe, forward us, uh, share us and comment below. Thank you. Bye.